everyone and welcome to another day of adventures with Wes and Jeff and we are in Kings Canyon National Park which is in central part of California just uh, about 55 60 miles east of Fresno so this big canyon here this is Kings Canyon and it's uh, all granite rock and it was formed glacial so by glaciers many thousands of years ago hundreds of thousands of years ago whichever it is and now it's formed by water so water erosion etc but this uh, Kings Canyon is kind of a, a really beautiful spot here we're gonna go down and explore some of the meadow uh, there's a cave down there called Boyton cave and uh, zoo Mott meadow and uh, the Kings uh, Kings River goes right along the base of it so um, when you drive through the park you drive all the way to the end of the road and then it dead ends to a trailhead for backcountry trail heads uh, that are up in the uh, Sierra Mountains there and the uh, Great Western uh, the Great Divide is up there so uh, Pacific Crest Trail uh, for hikers that are hiking from the border of California and, uh, and Mexico all the way up to Canada so 2,000 over 2,000 miles so it, it runs along that ridge as well as uh, on the other side of these mountains is Mount Whitney which is the tallest peak in the continental US uh, so not in Alaska of course we have a lot of uh, big peaks there just a gorgeous view here of Kings Canyon and that's the road down there that we'll be continuing on down into the canyon itself so the, the granite that is uh, there's the actual Kings Canyon you go right back in there uh, John Muir back in the late 1800s commissioned the president at the time to make this a national park uh, just like Yosemite just like again to protect Sequoia in the in the big redwood trees as well as this valley as well as uh, the Sierra mountain range so um, one other thing I wanted to show you is uh, look at the burn scar this uh, there was a fire that went through here wildfire you know uh, you all hear about all the California wildfires but these trees can withstand wildfires over the years and so this one has a perfect example see how all of the the lower branches have been burnt because it just raged through here and burnt this but it's just the outer side edge and then as you know on the inside it's still okay it's still living it's still gonna survive this but it did char the base of it and uh in this area you can see where the um, complex fire went through just a couple years ago on the other side of uh, the uh, Sequoia National Forest but um, these things over the years these uh, Sequoia trees have um, en endured and uh, survived many uh, thousands of years um, in this environment so more wildfires than uh, probably what they've seen in the past but um, they're still surviving Sequoia redwood trees. There's two different types of redwood trees and they both exist in California. One is the coastal redwood. It is really tall. The diameter is not as large as these guys, but these are the largest living things in the world. This one is about 2,700 years old and it's over 20 five stories building stories tall so it's very large it was named after Ulysses S. Grant one of our uh, 
previous presidents of the United States. And then it was also designated as the America's Christmas tree. It doesn't really look like a Christmas tree. It looks like a redwood tree. But it's, um, it was designated that. So it's protected. And it's along this trail here at Kings Canyon National Park. This is a fallen tree that has actually been used over the years by Native Americans and by Western settlers. Once as a stable, once as a saloon. This is a tree that was over 2,500 years old. And now you can walk through it and, or stumble in some cases. Uh, I stumbled in the very same Thank spot. You. And uh, she doesn't speak English, I don't think. Anyway, so this is pretty cool. Um, they've used it for um, shelter. They've used it for um, buildings. They've used it for all kinds of things. It's here in the General Grant Grove of Kings Canyon National Park. So pretty cool it's pretty long uh, to walk through it it's a, a neat little uh, thing that they preserved here at Kings Canyon National Park This is called Grizzly Flat Falls. And it's actually just on the outskirts of Kings Canyon National Park. And it's in the, um, it's in the Kings Canyon Forest. Or actually the Sequoia Forest that's just outside. And that's probably where we're gonna just first camp tonight. But, um, it's a pretty cool little fall. I'm sure it gets really cool in the springtime.
Meadows. It's a, about a mile hike in and it's a little meadow that's uh, surrounded by the granite walls of the canyon here. So it's just a beautiful uh, spot to take pictures and a nice little hike. There's a little bridge that uh, crosses over into the meadow here. So it's uh, just a beautiful day here in Kings Canyon National Park, which is in uh, Central California. There's Jeff, he hiked the den with me this morning. So. Zumont Meadows in Kings Canyon National Park, almost to the very end of the road into the canyon. This is in the morning hours, uh, the sun, the clouds shining, nice little one mile hike back into here. If you visit Kings Canyon National Park, be sure and visit this part of the park, especially if you have great weather for it. Morning hours are great because the sun's right behind those trees there and behind that, those mountains at the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Visitor Center at Kings Canyon National Park. This is kind of a cool room with all of these murals. But Kings Canyon is to preserve the canyon as well as the giant sequoia redwood trees. That some of them are almost three million years, excuse me, three thousand years old. about 85 surface acres. We have a lot of, um, we're throwing the frisbee for the dogs here and uh, having, a, having a good time. They have a lot of Christian camps that are around, located on the shores of this, as well as the uh, Sequoia National Forest Campground. I'm just playing frisbee with the dogs in the water. They're really enjoying it. And it's just a beautiful day. Ducks didn't seem to be really phased by the dogs that much. So a guy was watching the dogs catch their frisbee here at Hume Lake. We're at Hume Lake, which used to be called the Hume Mill Pond. And in 1909, that uh, dam over there 
Um, it's the world's oldest multi-arched concrete dam here at Hume Lake in the Sequoia National Forest. That was completed in 1909, so well over a hundred years ago. And oh, 113 years ago. Anyway, that uh, this used to be just filled with logs, uh, redwood logs. They milled over 27 million feet of lumber out of this area and sent it down 72 miles down to the Central Valley from this point. But that this was filled with logs. Now it's a recreational lake. It's called Hume Lake. It was Hume Mill Pond uh, back when the um, when the lumber companies uh, built this and uh, they turned it over and the U.S. Forest Service bought it in 1935 and it has been a recreational lake ever since. But it's 87 acres or so is what they're saying. I, I have it down for 85 acres, but it makes my list. Uh, it's number 440 on my list of 653 that I'm going to be going to. But uh, it's a pretty little lake. It's just really up here uh, at 5,350 feet. And it's just, it's serene. There's uh, some campgrounds around here. And it's just a beautiful spot. They have uh, a lot of uh, the Jeffrey Pine trees. They got some sequoias in the area. But it's just a really pretty pretty spot if you ever get a chance to be up in uh, about 55 60 miles from uh, Fresno up in the Sierra Mountains this is a great place to come visit they have a campground all that um, lake activities whatever you're doing today get out and enjoy the great outdoors